Hello guys and welcome to my channel. In this video, I would be explaining you how you can find I centers and what is I center method by the help of which you can solve any general velocity problem. That is uh, various problems regarding velocity and acceleration diagrams of the theory of machines or kinematics of machine. Now before starting with the video, if you are new to this channel, please subscribe my channel by pressing the subscribe button below. Also check out my other videos, all the links are given in the description. If you find this video helpful, please like the video. If you have any doubt or feedback or suggestion, please mention in the comment section below. Do follow me on Facebook, Twitter and Google+. All the links are given in the description at the end. I hope uh, you are finding my videos helpful for my regular subscribers. Uh, I have reached 1000 subscribers. Thank you and uh, now starting with the video i center method now let n be the number of links so the number of i centers will be n c2 or n into n minus 1 upon 2 example if for four bar mechanism number of links are four so number of i centers will be four into four minus one that is three upon two that is four three to twelve upon two that is six so number of i centers will be six so first you have to find the i centers first you make the configuration diagram a b c d as per the dimensions given all right you have made a b c d you mention this one two three and four you give the link number now six i centers so because it is a four bar mechanism you have to draw a square if number of um, if it is 5 bar mechanism then you have to draw a pentagon if it is 6 bar mechanism you have to draw hexagon and so on now it is 4 bar mechanism so you first make a circle then you make a square then you join the diagonals now you mention 1 2 3 and 4 so the trick to write the i centers corresponding will be i am telling the trick so the trick to write i centers are First you write i 1 you have to start from 1 you write i 1 then you write the numbers up to the last number that is 4 if it had been 5 or 6 then you have to write that also example that first you have to write i 1 the starting then you have to write correspondingly 2 so i 1 2 is the first i center then you go 3 so i13 is second i center then you write 4 if it is more more number of links are there so you have to write i15 i6 i16 i17 and so on but here the last number is 4 so you have to stop here i14 then you have to go to 2 so you write i2 then after 2 what is there 3 and 4 so you write 3 so this is the first i23 and then you have to write i24 then as soon as the last number comes you have to jump to the next that is here 4 comes after 4 is not there if it had been 5 or 6 or 7 then you have to write i25 to 6 i27 and so on all right then here 4 comes last number now you have to jump again we have found 1 we have found 2 now we have to find 3 so i3 so after 3 only 4 comes so the only i center is i34 this is the trick to write the i centers all right now we know now the i centers now how to find the i centers on the configuration diagram i centers are the intersection points of the corresponding link suppose this is link 1 2 3 and 4 so i center 1 2 will be the intersection point that is this this pin this is the i center 1 2 similarly intersection of 2 and 3 link the i center will be this this is the 2 3 point b similarly i 3 4 will be this point c 3 4 of point of 1 and 4 will be d point i 1 4 so 4 we have found found out 1 2 2 3 3 4 and 1 4 now the two remain remaining i centers are i 1 3 and i 2 4 so now listen carefully that how you have to find i13 and i24 so i first you have to find any you can find first nothing matters i am going by 13 so i13 
from 1 to 3 how you can reach you can go from 1 to 2 and 2 to 3 similarly you can go from 1 to 4 and 4 to 3 I hope you got it from 1 to 2 2 to 3 and from 1 to 4 4 to 3 you, you will reach 1 to 3 all right so I 1 3 is I 1 2 2 3 and 1 4 3 4 1 2 2 3 1 4 3 4 so 1 2 2 3 you extend and 1 4 3 4 you extend wherever it intersects it is point I 1 3 so this is point I 1 3 similarly you have to find I 2 4 so you can go from how you can go I from 2 to 4 you can go by 2 to 3 3 to 4 and 2 to 1 1 to 4 2 to 3 3 4 1 2 to 1 4 so 2 3 3 4 you extend 1 2 1 4 you extend wherever it intersects it is point i 2 4 so you have plotted all the i centers all right now if there are six links general question is of four four bar mechanism but if the number of links increase then also you can find and you can solve the question now if there are five links so there will be 10 i centers if there are six links there will be 15 i centers if there are five links you have to draw a pentagon that is five sided polygon pentagon inside the circle and you have to mark correspondingly and you have to write the, by the same trick now again example of six links so there will be six into six minus one that is five six five the 30 upon two that is 15 i centers so you have to plot a hexagon in any fashion you write you draw a hexagon then you join each point with the corresponding other point all right then similarly you can go that is i13 you can be found you can find by 2312 and 3616 is the i13 similarly 35 you can find by 3445 and 3656 i hope you got now how to solve the question by using i center method now suppose this was the question that this is the four bar mechanism and you have to find the velocity of point c if omega is given now how you can proceed first you find velocity v b that is velocity of point b that will be r omega that is omega into this distance this distance is i12 to 23 so i have written omega into i12 to 23 so vb is found out now vb is also omega omega of this this link that is if you assume this omega of i3 if you assume this b to be rotating about this then also the velocity of b will be in same this direction but it would be omega of 1 3 multiplied by the r that is distance between these two points that is i 1 3 2 3 so vb is also omega 1 3 into i 1 3 2 3 that is first we have found b velocity of b that will be r omega this distance into omega that is given Similarly, velocity of B will also be omega of this link, that is, this whole link, that is, this is a lamina. Suppose this is a lamina, this, this whole lamina, B I13 C, it rotates by some velocity, angular velocity omega I13. So, velocity of point B with respect to this point will also be r omega that is r will be now i13 i23 that is this distance into omega now from equating these two equations we can find omega 13 is equal to vb upon i1323 vb you have found from first equation now you put in this equation you find omega 13 so omega 13 is found and now velocity of point c that is it would be like this whether you consider it to be like this or you consider it from this so velocity of point c will be 
omega that you have found just now that is omega 1 3 into i 1 3 3 4 that is that is this distance r omega so velocity of point c or velocity of 3 4 it would be omega i 1 3 into i 1 3 2 3 4 this distance so we have you have found out velocity of point c that was required similarly you can find the omega of the output link that is this omega velocity of point c is known you divide by distance 1 4 3 4 you find you will get the omega of this output link 4 first you have to proceed you have to find velocity of b then considering it to be rotating about this you find you divide by this distance you will get omega now multiplying this omega with this distance you will get velocity of point c now velocity of point c you divide by this distance you will get omega it is very simple i hope i made myself very clear and uh, if you have found this video helpful please like the video comment on the video please share this video please subscribe my channel if you have not already subscribed and uh, take care bye bye thank you